Hey guys, what is up, and welcome to the 20th episode of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Commuter, I think. So, um, yeah, at the moment, this is the team we're running. We're gonna be forced to make a ton of changes as we're really running low on stamina. So, we're running a 4-3 uh, full sign. It's served us so well so far. So, Alonzo, Ake, Shawcross, and Davies. Then we have Dukure, Shalba, and Noble in the midfield. Then we have Triore, Achiwai, and uh, Shrievers. In the bench, we have Jesus, Collins, Musanda, Fabregas, Gonzalez, Kennedy, and Todd Kane. Just in case we need to take off Shawcross. So, we're starting off the episode with a game against Stoke. So, then we have the next game of the episode, which is actually against our Anderlecht, the second leg of the Europa League round of 16. So, we have a lot of games uh, very close to each other. So, we got to be able to take our uh, talents into this game and. Hopefully we can go along and grab a victory because we are actually starting to close down Manchester United, so maybe there's hope. We're going into the next game versus Stoke City, that's right. So as I mentioned before, squad depth is a bit of an issue. Um, luckily for us, we're not in the Champions League in all honesty because I don't think we could handle Champions League opposition at the moment. But, um, yeah, we're playing against Stoke, uh, good side. I believe we had a lot of trouble against them last time. I think we nearly drew nil-nil, so it's going to be a good challenge. Uh, Stoke, they're never an easy team to play against, and let's take a look at the two teams now. So Stoke City had the eternally annoying to play against uh, Jack Butland in goal. They have Roman Shishkin playing 4-2-3-1. Ginelli and Bula, uh, interesting. So Yusuf Pulisic also. You know, Ginelli and Bula is actually someone I want to try in FIFA 18. I've never used him, but he's actually fairly good prospect in all honesty. So uh, yeah, 4 3 3 false nine for us. Uh, at least with him, I've never understood why he did well. He didn't do well at Stoke, but I mean Stoke's kind of a bit of an interesting team. Shot in! What a save by Butland! And okay. Shot in! Oh! Oh, what a goal! Marcus Alonso! What in the how that go in? Marcos Alonso with the finish. 34 minutes into the game. I am really confused. How did that go in? So it was an outside of the foot shot. Batshuayi, good layoff to him. And... Okay then. Um... It was a bit of a weird shot. Um... Yeah. Welp. It's, uh, it's in. And we take a one nothing lead. So you would expect the keeper to dive a little lower there, but uh, why am I complaining? We scored. <sighs> oh, okay. All right, blocked. All right. So half time it is at the moment. So I think I'm gonna trick off Bertrand Traore. Uh, I don't really want him to be running out of energy for the game next uh, in the next few days. At the moment, I'm thinking I'm leaning towards taking Shawcross off and put Todd Kane there, and I'm going to put Davies in the CB position, so... Bit of changes, but we kind of have to do a little squad rotation to ensure we'll be okay for the match against Anderlecht. We're still not really out for sure of the woods there. That deserved a uh, red. I'm going to be honest with you, that was that deserved a red card, but I'm happy enough to get away with that. I'm going to take off Decore right now. Uh, Decore's going to come on for Kennedy as a CM. Uh... It's gonna have to work. So. Oh my! Oh, oh, oh! Tebo! Tebo! What was I doing? Okay, jeez. Uh, narrow 1 0 victory over Stoke. Uh, not the perfect game in all honesty. Um, we dominated, but. Uh, just decision making wasn't perfect, but I'll take that. A narrow 1 0 victory. Uh, no doubt we were deserving of it. And yeah, we'll skip on through that and move towards the next game versus Anderlecht. So yeah, we're going to be switching back to our uh, Europa League exclusive lineup. So Derlis Gonzalez is going to be forced to switch out for him. Uh, so the second game of the episode, what we're going to do now, we're going to swap Zoom into that right back position. Alonso, uh, Ak is going to come out for... Oh wait, everybody's just tired then. Okay. I'm actually going to have Davies on that left back position. Then we got a three of... Uh, I guess Ducure, Almiron. Then we got Jesus, Triore, and Masanda. Very confident in the team. Pretty darn good, I'd have to say. And uh, 
Yeah, uh, I think we have the quality to ensure a another victory and at least making sure we can get past this uh, Europa League round. Let's hopefully not make it as uh, epic as it was last time because that was uh, a little too close for comfort. Alright guys, so we're getting to the second match of the episode. We are playing against Anderlecht, who were an absolute pain uh, to play against, in all honesty. They were a really good team, I have to admit. Surprisingly decent. So, yeah, quality opposition. Obviously, Gabriel Jesus. Probably my favorite moment of the whole entire series, just the pure ecstasy of Jesus scoring that 94th minute winner. So that was, uh, that was pretty sick, I'd have to say. Yeah, talking about, uh, of course, huge goals, Alvaro Morata continues to put the goals on the goal sheet, as he's been playing brilliantly for Chelsea. So yeah, it's pretty much the exact same lineup for him, um, basically. Oh wait, Ruben isn't starting. But, hmm, Dindonker, yeah, as uh, Bimonis puts it, Dindonker Donk. And uh, yeah, for us, obviously, same as you know, 4 3 3 false nine. however, a couple changes. Uh, Davies at left back, Sesk at CDM, uh, Christensen comes in, Musanda, Jesus, about five or six players coming in, uh, a lot of changes to the lineup, but I'm confident we can uh, put away a decent performance for ourselves. It's Jesus! Jesus! What a cross! That is incredible from Bertrand Traore! And Jesus, yet again, he scored all three goals in our tie against Anderlecht. It is simply brilliant from the brilliant Brazilian beast, Jesus. That is just an incredible Morata-esque run. And a great finish into the corner there. Gabriel Jesus does it again. This guy is amazing. So yeah, please as you can get, one nothing, 16 minutes in, uh, let's continue on. And there we go, okay, half time at the moment, leading, and I see no reason why I should change anything, so we've been good, and we have enough stamina, I'd say, to last the rest of the game, so uh, let's keep it up, and uh, hopefully we can continue to play smarter as we are. It's Jesus, it's Jesus, it's Jesus, it's Jesus! It's Jesus! Uh, oh, it's a penalty! It's a penalty, and Bram has taken down Jesus. And now it's gonna be Gabriel Jesus, who's gonna take the penalty. It's Jesus! It's a perfect penalty! And even though the keeper went the right way, Jesus scores his fourth goal of the tie. He is simply unstoppable in this game. Great play. Great run from him, Ake with some brilliant defensive work, and then, yeah, the keeper just didn't get anywhere close. As a keeper, you can get as close as you want, but sometimes you're just not going to stop a perfect penalty. And it was so indeed. So, yeah, Jesus, second goal of the game, and, um, we seem to be safe and sound. Alright, there we go, 2 nothing victory over Anderlecht. And, uh, very, uh, straightforward, I'd say. As Anderlecht pretty much had, had one chance all game. So, we were dominant and definitely deserving to move on to the quarterfinals of the Europa League. So, yeah, curious to see who's going to play. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Manchester United got knocked out by Benfica! Wow, I'm kind of disappointed. I would have liked to face them, actually. Um, so, Porto, Celta Vigo, Lyon, Benfica... Fredabache, Arsenal, and that Russian team I have no clue how to say. There's some good uh, potential Europa League uh, combatants, so hopefully we can uh, face a solid team. And hopefully we can get a solid result. Alright, well that's going to be the end of the episode, so I want to thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Career Mode. If you guys did, feel free to leave a like and drop a sub to the channel. I will see you guys later. Peace!